All right, so the US Open draw has been revealed and the ladies draw is out now. And we have a few names pulling out of this one. Not big, uh, not too many big contenders, I guess. Uh, I mean, some former champions, but let's go have a look at the withdrawal list. All right, certainly a couple of players are pulled out of this event, starting with Pavlia Chenkova. She's pulled out. Wondrusova has also pulled out. Trova's also pulled out. And Angie Kerber has announced that she is pregnant, so she's also pulled out. So she uh, she's off to have a baby. So congratulations to her. Okay, so here is the top of the draw. Igor Sviantek, the number one seed of 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round. Uh, Sviantek takes on Paolini in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Minnen or Stevens in the second round. So Stevens takes on Sviantek. Champ versus champ. That could be fun. Then you've got Davis versus Bronzetti. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Stearns or the number 28 seed Alexandrova. Now, Alexandrova takes on Sviantek third round. That is not easy. Then you've got Anissimova, the 24th seed, taking on Putin Seba. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Kennan or Niemeyer in the second round. Then you got Lou taking on Potapova. Winner of that match takes on either Zhang or Ostapenko, the number 16 seed. Now, Zhang and Ostapenko, that is a fiery matchup first round. Zhang's been in some good form lately. And Ostapenko, we know what she can do. But possibly, Ostapenko takes on Sviantek in the fourth round, which would not be fun uh, for Sviantek. That's one of the only people to beat her this year was, um, was Ostapenko. So, doesn't want to play her. Staying in this section of the draw, like this quarter of the draw, we've got Muguruza, the number nine seed, taking on Towson. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Wong in the second round. Then we've got Perra taking on Kalanina. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 21 seed, Kvitova, who's been in a little bit of form. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Mertens, taking on Bagu. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Borulez, uh, the wild card. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Sastovic. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number 8 seed, Pagula, in the second round. So, uh, look, Sviantek's got a nice draw like, there are tough players but it's uh, you know maybe the third round onwards when it gets really tough and we could be getting a quarterfinal between Sviantek and Muguruza uh Sviantek taking on Pagula which is more likely or even Sviantek taking on Kvitova if we're going to keep Sviantek in the quarterfinals okay so the next part of the draw here we've got the number four seed Fedosa she takes on Sharenko in the first round winner of that match takes on either Gracheva or Martic in the second round then we got Sharif taking on Kostyuk winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Azarenka the 26th seed in the second round. Then you got Pliskova, the 22nd seed, taking on Lynette. Winner of that match takes on either Buzkova or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Sigamund taking on Kostea. Winner of that match takes on either Pekovic or Benchich, number 13 seed, uh, in the second round. So you've got Benchich versus Bedosa, which is a very fun matchup. Very excited to see how that one looks. Then you've got the defending champion taking uh, number 11 seed, Rodokano, taking on Cornet. The lady that beat Sviantek at Wimbledon and stopped the streak. That is a nightmare first round uh, for Emma Roducanu. I mean, the title defense it already was going to be hard, but that is a nightmare. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Towson or Siniakova in the second round. Then you got Yuvan taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Osaka or Collins, a 19th seed, which again, that's a fire first round. Both those first rounds between Rodokanu Korne and Osaka Collins, they are the matches of the first couple of days for sure. Then you've got Rabakina taking on a qualifier, the 25th seed Rabakina, Wimbledon champion. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Van Udfank or the number or the wild card, Venus Williams. So Williams versus Rabakina, which uh, Wimbledon champions playing each other. Then you've got Kanepi taking on Martin Chova. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Sabalenka, the sixth seed in the second round. This part of the draw is probably the hardest part. We could be getting Bedosa take on Sabalenka in the quarterfinals if that is what plays out. Uh, you could put Benchich taking on uh, Raducanu if you want to get a little bit weird. Uh, or even Pliskova versus Rabakina if you want to get really crazy. I feel like this section is where the craziness is going to be. Next section of the draw, we've got Halep to the seventh seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Frey or Marino in the second round. Then you've got Podoroska taking on Schmidlova. Winner of that match takes on either Zhang or Teichman, the 30th seed in the second round. Then you've got the Keys, the 20th seed, taking on Yastremska. Winner of that match takes on either Georgie or Bondaire in the second round. Then you've got Ruse taking on Saville. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 12 seed, Goff. Goff's got a good little draw if she can get past Keys. Halep is the fourth round. Goff's got a good draw. Halep has a better draw. I think that's probably the best way to put it. They'll play each other in the fourth round. Next section of the draw, you got Haddad Meyer, the 15th seed, taking on Konju. Winner of that match takes on either Tan or, the, or Andrescu in the second round. Then you got Pedersen taking on Kalinskaya. 
Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 17 seed Garcia, who we all know has been in great form. Then you got Risk and Retrage, the 29th seed, taking on Yu. Winner of that match takes on either Lee or Osorio. Then you got Parry taking on Wong. Winner of that match takes on either Tatiana Maria. Maria Sakari, the third seed in the second round. Uh, so we could be getting a quarterfinal between Hellup and Sakari. Uh, maybe a replay of the Canadian Open with uh, Hellup versus her dad, Maya. That was a lot of fun a few weeks ago. Hellup taking on Garcia. Uh, Goff taking on Sakari could also be a thing. Or even Goff takes on Garcia. I mean, there's a lot of players that are in form in this section of the draw. And the final section of the draw, uh, you've got Jabir, the fifth seed, taking on uh, Brengel in the first round. Winner of that takes on either the wildcard Mandlik or Zedinshek in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Tormo. Winner of that match takes on either Roos or Rogers, the 31st seed in the second round. Then you've got Kudamatova, the 18th seed, taking on Vekic. Winner of that match takes on either Vanderway or Zanevska in the second round. Then you've got Diaz taking on Gelfi. Winner of that match takes on either Dart or the number 10 seed, Kazakina, in the second round. Then you've got the finalists of last year, the 14th seed, Fernandez, taking on Dodden. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Samson Nova in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Krunic. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number 23 seed, Krejcikova, who did well here last year. Then you've got Trevisan, the 27th seed, taking on Rodina. Winner of that match takes on either Mukova or Tomanovic in the second round. Then you've got Kovinic taking on Serena Williams. There she is. Winner of that match takes on either Christian or the number two seed, Contivate. So Contivate versus Serena, second round. And you know that's going to be on a, a nighttime prime time serena time i mean it's gonna be insane that matchup if we do get it uh but christian's no joke you know contemate has got her work cut out for in that first round this part of the draw is a little bit random are we gonna get you know quarterfinal between jabir versus contemate based on the seeds uh, kazakina versus fernandez maybe if we're gonna go a little random or is Serena going to have a dream run and get to the quarterfinals? Maybe take on Jabir. Can Serena do it? Who is going to win the ladies' US Open? This is probably the hardest US Open to pick. Because everyone who you think you would pick has not been playing well. And everyone who's underdog, I mean, maybe Halep. I think Halep's probably my pick. But who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win the US Open for the ladies?